Okay, in this video we have what's called an age problem. So, right now Corti is twice his son's Aiden's age. However, in six years, uh, he will be 23 more than tw three times Aiden's age. How old are they now? The best way to set this up is with a table, as I've got now. So I've got a column, name, Corti and Aiden, age now and age in six years. Okay, so the age now, I'm going to start with the youngest person. So I'm going to call Aiden as A. Since Corti is twice his son's age now, okay, that will be 2A. Now here is the most important part of a, uh, this type of a word problem. On this column, age in six years, write down plus six, plus six, right away. Okay? And then all you have to do is move these two guys and just move them over into this column. This will be his age in six years, and that will be his age in six years. Now as we translate, if we're talking about their ages now, I would use 2A for QWERTY and A for Aiden. But if we're talking about their ages in six years, I translate it as 2A plus 6 for QWERTY and A plus 6 for Aiden. Okay, let's try and translate the, uh, the sentence. Okay, so it's twice QWERTY. will be 23 more than 3 times Aiden. Okay, now we're talking here about their ages in the future. Okay, so twice is 2 times and Corti's age in the future is 2a plus 6. Will be is equal. 23 is 23. More than is plus. 3 times is 3 bracket. And Aiden's age in the future is a plus 6. So the brackets are filled in with this column. Their age in 6 years. So automatically, we have immediately done the next step is the translation. Okay, let's now solve our question. Again, with any sort of bracket, my first step is to clear out the brackets. So I'm going to do 3 times both of those, 2 times both of those. So that would give me 4a plus 12 is 23 plus 3a and 18. Now I'm just going to go across border shopping here. Let's bring the 3a across this way and the 12 across that way. So we have 4a minus 3a is 23 plus 18 minus 12. That gives me 1a is 29 or a is 29. Now to find QWERTY, all you have to do is go right up here and QWERTY is 2A. So 2A is 2 times 29 is 58. Okay, so now you can write out their answers. Qwerty is 58, and Aiden is 29 now. And as with all of our questions that we have done, we are going to do a little check here. So I've got Qwerty at... Um, uh, 58, and I've got Aiden at 29. Now, in six years, 
I'm going to add 6 to them. QWERTY will be 64. He will be 35. Now let's check what it says. Twice QWERTY's age will be 23 more than 3 times Aiden's age in the future. So, 2 times 64, 23 more than 3 times 35. If the left-hand side, which works out to 128, equals the right-hand side, then our question is correct. And as you can see, the left-hand side is 128, the right-hand side is 128, so our question is correct. We can give ourselves a happy face. Now, I really want you to watch the next video because it will show you what happens if you make a guess.